Hey guys, this is Luke Zine from LukeZine.com. I'm a digital photographer and I've been doing it for many years now. You can have a look at my work online. But today's video is to introduce you to Luminar. Luminar is for editing all types of photo, be it portrait, landscape. And its key feature is that it's got a lot of presets and tools that you can adapt to however you like to edit your photos. Luminar is McClellan's answer to having a complete photo editing package. So what really caught my eye about this product was that it was the world's first editor to adapt to your style and skill level. You can get a free trial on their website. I'll have the link in the description below. But not only that, if you want to get a 15% discount, you can just use the code LUKEZ and I'll put that code down in the description as well. Luminar is primarily used as a plugin, Aperture, Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Photoshop. At this stage, McFordon are working on the browsing management add-on and this will mean that it will be a complete standalone software. So what Luminar tries to do is combine a whole lot of pro level tools into one package, but it also allows beginners to familiarize themselves with the tools later and just starting on a easy to use user interface. So here we are with my image from the Blue Mountains in Australia loaded up into Luminar. And first, straight off the bat, we have to think about who this product is aimed at. And I believe it's aimed at people getting into photography who want to learn how professional software works and who really want to get better at their photography. And, you know, they're going to get great results with this product. It's also aimed at intermediates and people who are starting to push into that professional zone. You know, if you're new to photography software and you're just sort of starting out and wanting something on a Mac that is great for photography, um, Luminar is great. You can see down the bottom here we've got over a hundred presets and it's just like Instagram where you can just click each preset and then use a slider here to determine how much of the preset is being used. So yeah, this is what I like to call the intermediate user interface and you've got your sidebar here and you can see that each one of these presets down on the bottom is made up of a select number of these filters and it's the different combinations of these filters that goes into a preset. So you can select any preset down here, but you can see how it's made. And if you want to add more filters to this, you can. And for experienced photo editors, there's a few more tools built in here. We've got up here, if you just press these buttons, we've got a histogram as well as a very powerful layers panel. Um, also in the filters, you can actually move all these around and they're adjustable just like as in the layers panel, you can select the blending modes for each uh, individual filter here. And you can see also how you can uh, select the blending modes there on the layers. Um, adding additional layers, you can even do stamped layers as well as replacing skies using this add new image layer. History is a very powerful pro feature in this. You can even like save your image and then come back and also your history is still going to be here. So you can go back at any point in your history and then always just come back like this. You've got brushes, you've got gradient masks, radial masks, uh, the transform tool, clone stamp, erase tool, uh, denoise which McFordon are very well known for their noise tools and also a crop. So there's a lot to play with for the pros as well.
This software is definitely for everyone, from the beginners to the pros. Um, if you're interested, grab a trial, see if you like it. You can get 15% off, remember, using my name, Lexine. That applies to all Macron software. Thanks, and I'll see you next time for another video.